All right, I think we'll go ahead and get started. I know we still have lots of folks that are joining in, um, but want to take this opportunity to welcome you all. Um, good evening and welcome to our annual kindergarten registration meeting. Um, obviously, we are coming to you in a unique fashion this year, as most of our school year has been, um, and, and doing this for the first time in a virtual setting. So we're glad all of you can uh, join us. We are recording this uh, meeting, so it will be available uh, after tonight. Um, for those that cannot join us. We're going to start um, with some introductions. Uh, we have our elementary uh, principal team with us tonight, as well as a representative from our school nurses team. And I would like for them to uh, introduce themselves to you. So we'll just kind of go in order of our schools. Um, principals, if you would come off mute and just let us know your name and what school you're represented at. Uh, let's start with Mr. Moss. Good evening, everyone. I'm uh, Mark Moss. I'm the principal at Ashland Ridge Elementary. Dr. Mullenbrook. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Mullenbrook. I'm the principal at Crocker Elementary. Mr. Berg. Hi, all. My name is Andrew Berg, and I'm the principal at East Elementary. Ms. Ryan. Good evening. My name is Laura Ryan. I'm the principal at Northeast Elementary. And Ms. Sisney. Hi, my name is Kate Sisney, and I'm the principal at Northwest Elementary. Mr. Muller. Good evening, all. My name is Ben Muller. I'm the principal at Prairie Trail. Ms. Cooper. Hello, everyone. My name is Johanna Cooper, and I'm the principal at Rock Creek Elementary. Ms. Owen. Hello everyone, my name is Tara Owen. I'm the principal at Southeast Elementary. Mr. Martin. Good evening, my name is Joel Martin. I'm the principal at Westwood Elementary. Thank you, and Ms. Teresa, do you introduce yourself please? Hello, I'm Sue Teresi and I'm the school nurse at Southeast Elementary. Very good. Thank you, everyone. And also our principal for Heritage Elementary is currently uh, Matt Dunsbergen, who is not with us tonight, but we will have a new principal next year, and his name is Mr. Ty Adams. Uh, my name is Amy Dittmar, and I'm the, the director of elementary education here at Ankeny Schools, and I'm excited to lead you through this brief presentation tonight um, regarding kindergarten. Um, so as you know, kindergarten is an exciting time. Um, for some of you, it brings on many emotions. This might be your first child you're sending off to kindergarten, and for some of you, it might be your last child. Um, and so we're very uh, aware that you might be feeling nervous or anxious or excited. Um, but whatever those feelings are, um, we, we want you to know that we're here to support you. Um, and this team of people that you see here on this call um, will do everything they possibly can do to make this a smooth transition for your child. So tonight, our purpose for this meeting is just as a general meeting um, to give you some uh, information regarding kindergarten programming. Um, and to just to make sure that you're aware of the registration process. Some of you have already registered successfully for kindergarten next year. Some of you have not yet registered. And really the purpose of this meeting is to make sure that you have everything in place um, so that you're fully registered for kindergarten and ready to go in the fall. So with that, we're gonna start with just some general elementary uh, information that applies to all of our schools. Um, first of all, starting with our school day, our school day uh, is from 7.55 to 2.55 with our doors opening at 7.30. Um, on Wednesdays, we have a one hour late start. And so we begin at 8.55 on Wednesdays. Um, it's important to, uh, to begin your child's educational career um, off on a positive start and to teach them that personal responsibility by arriving to school on time every day. School supplies, many of you might be wondering what school supplies will my child need for kindergarten? The school supply list can be found on our district website. Um, currently, the school supply list that you see on the website is for this year, um, but it's going to be very similar for next year. Um, so you can uh, check back later on um, this summer to get the list for next year. We also want you to know that our PTOs hold an annual school supply sale. Um, and so if you would like to participate in that where you buy your school supplies in one kit, so you don't have to go out to the stores and shop for them, um, you can go to your school's website to get information about that school supply sale, or you can also call the school office uh, for more information on that. 
We um, obviously have a breakfast and lunch program that we serve uh, every day to, that's available to all of our students. Um, or students are also welcome to bring a cold lunch to school. Uh, we also uh, provide a before and after school enrichment program for all of our elementary students. Um, the program follows a research based hands on fun activities um, in our enrichment labs. It's open every day from 630 in the morning until school starts and then it's open after school until 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we also offer full day camps um, on most school days when school is closed. Um, and we also offer a summer camp. Um, a full program calendar can be found on our district website. Space is limited at our site, so we recommend that you register as soon as possible. Um, even if you don't know which elementary school that your child will be attending, you can still register under the school that is closest to your residence. Uh, registration is open throughout the school year and you can join at any time. We also offer financial assistance. Um, for more information on our before and after school program, you can visit our website and it's listed under the schools tab. Uh, we also provide transportation for the students who qualify uh, for our busing service. Um, if your child qualifies for transportation, you will be notified uh, of your bus route and, and pick up times and drop off times in August. Um, also, all of our schools have an active PTO or parent teacher organization. Um, this is an organization that's very important to our schools. Our parents do a lot um, for our students and staff and, and support our programming. And so if you would like um, to be active in that PTO, um, look for more information to come on that in August. The safety and security of our students is our first and foremost priority. Um, security experts have recommended limiting access to our schools during school hours. Therefore, um, you will see that all of our school doors are locked um, during the day when, when students are present. Um, visitors will be buzzed in through a single uh, entry point of the school uh, via video phone. Um, so upon entry to the school, you need to check in at the front office. Uh, make sure you provide uh, a state issued ID that will be scanned. Um, you'll receive a badge that gives you um, the opportunity to walk into the school. And then also, if you plan to volunteer in your child's school uh, year, you will need to complete a volunteer background check. And more information on that can be found on our website. As many of you may know, volunteers and visitors were very much limited this school year um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and so we are unsure at this time as to what our state will be um, in the fall as whether well visitors and volunteers will be allowed into our school. If we do allow visitors uh, into the school, I know many uh, kindergarten parents um, like to walk their child to class um, and drop them off at the classroom with the teacher. Um, we do allow that for the first few days of school. Um, however, that we ask after the first two weeks of school, we ask that you drop your child off at the front door and there'll be staff available to help make sure that your child gets to class safe safely. In Ankeny, all of our teachers implement the Iowa Core State Standards in Literacy, Math, Social Studies, and Science, as well as our Work Habits tool. Um, we also implement a Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports, which is known as PBIS. Um, and this teaches that pro-social behavior and teaches our kids to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Um, and then all of our elementary schools also implement Leader in Me, um, which is a framework that is built on the foundation of the seven habits of happy kids. Um, so students are taught leadership and life skills to help them prepare for that lifetime of personal success. Um, you will get more information on the exact curriculum in kindergarten and then also PBIS and Leader in Me when you attend the back to school uh, events in August. So some important dates to remember. Um, you may be aware that we are a rapidly growing school district. Um, so it's very important that you register for kindergarten uh, early if you haven't done so already. Registration opened on February 5th. Um, typically after June 1st, your registrations are considered late. Um, so we will time and date stamp those registrations prior to June 1st. And then we will give um, you notification of your building assignments um, the week, second week in June. So you will get communication from the school district as to what uh, school you will be assigned to. Um, we do have a class size of 25 students in kindergarten. 
um, which is um, optimal for teachers and students. But we also recognize that that also means that you may not get your resident school. Um, and so therefore you are, uh, we have busing services to a neighboring school until space becomes available and then we will call you back to your resident school. So get those registrations in early um, and then you'll be notified in June of what building you'll be assigned to. Um, classroom assignments, uh, often elementary students are excited to learn what their teacher's name will be. Those are posted to the parent portal, uh, Infinite Campus, the week of August 9th. We, we will let you know your classroom teacher two weeks before school starts. Um, and then in August, we will have a uh, meet the teacher night for our kindergarten students. And that's for all students and parents to come into the school to see your classroom, drop off your school supplies and to meet your teacher. Um, and then we also will have another back to school uh, parent night for our kindergarten parents only. We ask that you don't bring your students. And that's an opportunity for us to um, answer any questions that you might have about your child. Um, it also will give you a lot more detail of what their kindergarten day is going to look like. Uh, again, if you haven't registered yet, this is the purpose of our meeting tonight is to make sure that you know exactly what you need to do in order to register. Uh, we need proof of um, your child's age uh, through the copy of a birth certificate or a passport. Um, there's a home language survey we would like you to complete. You need to show proof of residency. Um, there's some nurses form that our nurse Sue is going to talk about here in a little bit. Um, and then a kindergarten, kindergarten student information form that's going to be assigned to you through Infinite Campus. Um, so all of those documents are required for registration. Um, you can upload those right into the registration system. If for some reason you have difficulty with uploading, you can always um, mail them into central office or you can call and make an appointment and drop them off. Um, for kindergarten, to make sure that you have a complete registration, all of these documents need to be sent in. Your, your registration will not, will not be considered complete until we have everything that you see listed there. If you have any questions about that, you're certainly welcome to call our, our district office or our school registrar. And now I will turn this over to um, our nurse, uh, Sue Therese from Southeast, and she's going to talk to you about the health requirements for our kindergarten students. Hello again. So I just wanted to note that the forms are due no later than July 1st, but in order, as um, Dr. Dittmar said, in order to make sure that your uh, registration is completed, um, get them uploaded with your with your registration as much as possible. Um, otherwise, you can mail them to the school or you can email them to the, the nurse in the building. Once you know which building, all of our email addresses are on the uh, individual school building site. So the forms that are required um, it, by law, the first is the certificate of immunization or an exemption certificate. Um, that needs to come from the doctor's office, a doctor's office copy of that, um, or you can complete the medical exemption or a religious exemption. I would recommend that you check on your child's immunization status. I know that many uh, well child um, visits, uh, physicals have been delayed or postponed because of the pandemic. And um, a lot of those um, immunizations require a booster at age four or five. And so if, if you aren't certain that, that your child received that booster, um, just check with your doctor's office because maybe they'll need to get them in between now and um, July 1st or at the very latest, um, the first day of school to get that immunization caught up. The next form is the dental screen or an exemption certificate. Um, that dental screen has to be completed no earlier than three years of age. Um, you may have the dentist complete the form if you had um, your child in for a dental exam. You know, if you do it every six months or even once a year, if you've had uh, if that child's had a dental exam or a screen in the last since age three, you can take that form to the dentist office and have them complete that form. And the dental screen is on the district website in the registration enrollment tab that you can print that off. The next form is the vision screen and that can be completed um, up to one year before enrollment or they can have had the 
uh, vision screen up to one year before enrollment, and it can be done by an eye doctor. Um, Kids site, which uh, the Lions Club often does preschool. Now, I don't know if they're doing that this year because of the pandemic. They might not be going into the preschools to do those. Um, so you may just need to check um, to see if you can get your child in for vision screen. Your doc your child's doctor at their um, well child check. Often they will do a quick vision screen in the doctor's office. And that also counts for the vision screen. So you can have that form that completed by the, uh, the your doctor's your child's doctor, and have that completed and turned in to us. Um, again, that's on the district website under the registration enrollment tab. And then we recommend a physical examination. Iowa law does not require a physical examination. However, if you're getting immunizations, they do a physical exam. And the information that is on that physical examination form is very helpful to us. Um, and just make sure that your doctor has completed it, your doctor or your the healthcare provider has completed it fully. Um, there's oftentimes that we'll refer back to that physical examination form to see if the child has a history of allergies or um, just a, many other types of minor um, physical conditions, and it's just helpful to have that information. And so we appreciate when you send that in with your um, forms. One other thing I'd just like to add is if your child has serious health concerns, um, such as seizures or diabetes or life-threatening food allergies, um, the school nurses would really like to have contact with you um, before school starts. We need to do some planning for those, those conditions. Um, so if you um, either call the school the, where your child will be attending or um, email the nurse at that building, um, usually about the middle of August is when we are back at school um, on contract time working on getting um, everything ready. But those, those serious health concerns take some planning and we want to make sure that we have everything in place that we need to keep your child safe. That's all I have, Amy. All right, thank you, Sue. Um, so as I said earlier, um, make sure you get those registrations in um, as soon as possible if you haven't done so already, and definitely no later than June 1st. Um, if you have any questions um, regarding your child or um, more specific questions about kindergarten, um, there are um, the principal's names, phone numbers, and email addresses you see there on the screen, or you can also find them on our website. But feel free to reach out um, to the schools uh, to ask your questions as we want to make sure that we uh, work with you to prepare uh, your student for this first day of school. And so our first day of kindergarten for the 2021 school year is August 23rd. Um, we are looking forward to seeing you um, in the meantime. Feel free to call, email uh, with any questions that you might have, and then be on the lookout for any communication um, regarding the upcoming parent meetings and meet the teacher night, which are going to be in August. And we will have more details for you uh, regarding that start of the school year. We want to thank you for taking the time to join us tonight. Uh, we're excited to partner with you on this educational journey uh, for your child, and we hope you have a great evening. Thank you. Uh, just one final reminder to our audience. We will we have recorded tonight. So for those neighbors or friends that weren't able to join us, we'll have that posted to the website um, and potentially uh, available from our building principals as well, too. Thank you.